I'm doing well. I hope you're doing well. Uh, this is episode two. Now, in episode one, uh, we completed that. We picked up the pilot. You see him there, and these guys want to talk. So we're going to let them talk. We also found out what our, our next mission is going to be, and uh, we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, but let's, let's let these guys talk because they want to. And uh, let me put my headset on so I can hear them. Let's see what's going on here. All this for one long lost tower, huh? There must be something very valuable inside. I wonder why Locke thinks he's the one who should have it. You sure ask a lot of questions, kid. It's part of my job. Besides, I've seen my share of archaeological expeditions. Most of the time, everyone goes home empty-handed. Sometimes, you only wish they did. Mr. Locke hasn't asked us to break out the pickaxes. He just wants us to smash up some machinery. That's another thing. Tres Marteau is in a secret alliance with that Nick Astor one. How's that for an odd couple? He's working on flying cars and she's running around with antique swords. How did they meet? I wonder that too. It keeps me up at night. <laughs> I'm trying to count the money Locke paid me, but I keep losing count because I can't stop wondering. <laughs> and Mr. Sawyer, I'd be happy to count your money for you. Just say the word. Gentlemen, please. It's simple. Two sets of wealthy eccentrics have decided to indulge in an archaeological competition. Our Mr. Locke and this banished court. And if we play our cards right, we'll come away rich enough to cultivate eccentric hobbies of our own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be preparing for our next mission. We wouldn't want to disappoint our employer, would we? Okay. So, that's more set up. It looks like he wants to talk again. One more thing. These are portable radios. They'll allow you to communicate in the field as if you were standing side by side. That's the tiniest radio I've ever seen. In the war, they were big as rucksacks and heavy as sin. Kind of sounds like they uh, traveled to the future and picked up on some of our technology, doesn't it? I wonder if it's going to be any of that in this game. The modern world is one of strange and rapid change. I'll take any advantage it provides. Are we done? No, we have the pilot. So, you finally have your cards back. Was it worth it? Without a question. The undrawn hand is no ordinary deck of cards. Oh, yeah? You're going to do a rating? See your future? Centuries of study, and we've only scratched the surface of the card's potential. But we know this. The undrawn hand doesn't predict the future. It changes it. Okay. Can it give me a future where I have a secret island of my own and don't have to work for you anymore? Yeah. The cards prefer those who tempt fate. Perhaps if you keep sticking your neck out in the field, like you did in Marseille. <sighs> Forget about it. I almost got my head sliced off on that last job. I I'll keep flying your gang of crooks around, but I I'm not getting off the plane anymore. <laughs> not for anything. Right. Not to worry. My agents will handle the field work from now on. Yeah. Glad we see eye to eye. Good night, boss. Hope somewhere in those cards of yours is a winning hand. We did not get any There cards. is, Captain. There has to be. I hope we get cards on this next one. All right, so let's go to the world map. Uh, the next mission, this is the world map Locke uses to plan his secret war against Scions and the Banished Court. Use it to track the court's progress and plan the agent's next moves. A pin on the map represents a sabotage job Locke wants done against the Scions. Trace Marteau. Select it to begin the mission. Okay, it's the only thing we can select. We'll assign agents to that in a minute. I think if I click on it, that's what it wants us to do. Assign agents. Our rewards will be one Intel, that's what that green satchel is, if you look up there, Intel, yeah. 75 supplies and six more um, action points. We don't know what the ink, the KA, and the SER thing is. Um, I'll sign agents later, but let's go now and spend our skill points. We have six. This is the agent screen. Use the view to manage the scoundrels and locks employ by equipping items to prepare them for their next mission and spending skill points. Okay, to unlock new tricks. Okay, the agents are, all right, we can spend them all on one or spread them around. We will spread them around. 
equipment. There are four types of equipment, armor, accessories, weapon mods, and pocket items. Okay, I have a feeling those things that I don't know what they are, the ink, the KA, and the SER, is going to be stuff that will enhance our gear. Uh, we have the drawn hand down there, if I push Y, but you can see we didn't get any cards. Uh, so we do have skills. Let's go to the skill trees. This is the agent skill trees here. Spend skill points, uh, earn from missions, unlock. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so. Looks like, well, we have six. It's going to cost one. Let's give her this. This is stick and move. I like the sound of it. Melee debuff, a devastating hit and run attack that inflicts blinded. All right, all right, yeah, we'll definitely spend the point on that. Okay, unlocks the next round and the next row, and that row will cost two. That'll drop us down to only three. Uh, let's go to Latif. Uh, let's let, unlock his first one here, which is distract. Latif inflicts blinded to all enemies in the area. Uh, affected enemies prioritize attacking him uh, that would work cool if he has you know if we can because he gets evade when he moves so we can stack maybe two evades on him and use this and that unlocks that row uh, now we only have two points so let's go to Eddie and let's see we'll unlock his first one which is uh, what light him up attacks up to four targets ammo permitting uh, hit targets are flushed out of their, all right, out of the, so they'll move out, out of cover. And they're marked, which will make them easier for the other people to hit. I don't know if Mark does anything else to them. We'll find out. Um, then we've got this lower one. Now, I only have three AP. I don't know if I want to spend those because might want to let those build up. Uh, what do we have? Bullseye. So that's a guaranteed hit. It's guaranteed hit. That's powerful. This one, set them up. It marks them. So that's a setup uh, for his other, for himself and for anybody else who shoots, which right now is just Latif. I uh, hit him hard. Ooh. So this is automatically activated on reload. He gains 20% crit chance until the end of the round. That's good. We might do that. Let's see what the other one's uh, second row is. Um, this is a passive ability. Performs a melee attack on adjacent enemies. Ah, performing a hostile action. So it's kind of like um, an overwatch. Um, so if they come near her, like if they're coming up to whack her or, or run past her, she'll attack. Uh, this one is a knockdown, a pushback. Can knock them into other targets. This one, a passive ability. Stick and move and she'll gain two, two. All right, what is his others? Uh, slippery, passive ability. He gets gains evade when hit critically. Mm, you know, that's not going to come up too often. I don't think he's going to get hit critically. But we're going to probably have to do that so we can get down here to these. Not right now, though. A running shot, hit and run attack, deals 50% additional damage per evade stack. So he moves, so you move him, he picks up evade, and then you shoot. I like that. I like that. Um, so it's either that or the guaranteed hit. Tough choice or save the points. Um, I'm going to go with a uh, running shot. I like that for him. A guaranteed hit. Man, this is tough. We'll, we'll spend two here, and that's all we can do. Um, let's go to Looking the supplier. Good there, champ. Um, ooh, I would like a firebomb. I have a hundred bucks. A flash bomb bailed us out last time. Uh, let me go to the agents. And see what we carried over from the last mission. So we, we can only assign these guys. Let's look at the equipment. He is carrying bandages right now. Um, she is carrying bandages. And he is carrying bandages. We can't do any of this stuff down here. 
Um, it looks like armor and then uh, a ring or stuff that, that will enhance them. Looks like we'll have the ability to open up two more pockets so they can carry three items, but not right now. So let's go back to the supplier because they don't. All, I don't want them all to be carrying bandages. I do want a fire bomb. That's 20 bucks, and so now we have 80. Do I want a flash bomb? This bail is out on the last one. I kind of like the flash uh, bomb. Um, let's let's let's. Uh, I'm gonna drop this down to 60 bucks. Um, we're picking up 75 bucks. Um. cost 15 let's do it and then uh, we'll go back to the world map equip these um, let's give Eddie let's give Eddie the the um, this blinds him and marks him let's give him that And let's give Latif the firebomb. Why, why didn't that? Why, why didn't that switch? What did I do wrong? I did something wrong. Ah, there. So now he's got the firebomb. She's got bandages. He's got that. Let's go. Oh, I like this. I like this. So we're traveling to it. Trial run, sabotage, destroy a Marto generator. My three new agents succeeded in retrieving the undrawn hand. Despite, we didn't get it though, despite Zorana and Castro's interference. Now, they're en route to a Marto Industries compound with order to destroy a piece of machinery. My informants traced to the site. Machin machinery that if I am correct, plays a role in the company's mysterious Project Crossroads. We'll find out more about that, I imagine. Almost important as the mission itself is the question. Will the undrawn hand respond to our actions? Well, I'm going to say yes, because otherwise they wouldn't be in the game. All right. I like that. This generator Mr. Locke wants us to destroy is just up ahead. From stealing blank cards to destroying machinery. Locke is a strange one. That's for sure. Enough wind jamming. Let's do this job and get out. Wind jamming. Enough wind jamming. We're flapping your gums. Uh, flapping your jaws. Is that what that means? I'm going to look around behind me just in case. There's some loot. Although they, they can't pick anything up, they all have their pockets full. But there might be something better. Or maybe some supplies. Let's look at this. Where are we? Like, it looks like we're in a, a jungle. This is kind of cool. This is really cool. I like the graphics on this game. A lot. So what do we have? Whoops. Ruined complex. We got three guys up there. She can knock all three of them out with her special ability. Now those abilities, let's ungroup. And put these guys... Recruited from the disillusioned masses, enforcers impose the banished court's will with semi-automatic rifles and satchel charges. The most numerous of all the court's forces, but okay. no less dangerous. Okay. Um, but if this goes well, well, he's not crouching down um, in that position. He needs to be somewhere where he can crouch down. Stairs up there. Let's put him in the bushes here. Let's get Eddie on the corner. And I want her to use her um, slam ability to take all three of these guys out if they come back. Are they coming back? They're going to stay up there. We've got some more in the background, so I don't want to do it over there. We'll alert them. I want them to come this way. Oh, there's dynamite there in those cases, I'm pretty sure. Let's do recon. That is dynamite, so we could just blow them up and save her special ability, huh? Maybe we'll do that. Um, 
can he target those from where he is? He can. All right. But I would rather use um, Lafitte for that. Um, can he, will he be able to see it from here? Nope. All right, it has to be um, Eddie. We'll only get two of them. We gotta wait just another minute, and we can save her. Um... Are you gonna come closer? Yes. Now. So he can do dual shot, hit that guy hopefully, and the dynamite. Ah that worked really well, but it didn't. Enemies alerted. I don't think it killed him though. It didn't kill this guy or that guy. It didn't kill any of them. It just hurt him and knocked him out. Y'all taking notes on this? Yeah, we're taking notes, big guy. Now, can she clean up? Um, she can get two of them. I don't know if she can get all three. Um. up here, he picks up an evade, and should have a good shot. 100%. Is such a burden, being so good at so many things. Now, she can get all three, yeah baby. She gets an action point with each kill. That was your last chance. So she just... Chain, chain attack. Enemy phase. What? Oh! Somebody else knows we're here? That sucks. But they're gonna, he's going to use all his turns to get close. The court scourges move quickly to stun and overwhelm their enemies. left. So I'll move her into cover. Well, there's two of them back there, huh? I thought there was just one. Um, all right. Latif, he picks up evade when he moves. So if I am aggressive with him, there's only two of them, he will pick up two stacks of evade by moving here. Oh, this is risky. I don't hope this works. Yeah. So t the next two shots will miss him. Eddie uh, doesn't. Man, he doesn't have a shot anywhere, does he? Um. He could, we're gonna reload him and then s sit down on Overwatch. I, won't, I don't think that guy will run into it, but we'll have it just in case. I will need her to move and then go stick an evade on her. Let's see what they do. Oh, there is free. They're not going to do anything. Okay, don't shoot at her. They have shotguns, so I think they have to get close. Those guys with the Chinese style hats on. They're gonna. Oh, wow. Holy crap. <laughs> I, uh, I just pissed off a whole hell of a lot of them, didn't I? Um, so we gotta be either aggressive or run at this point. Maybe the best thing to do. not showing that I can get that up there. It's not showing that I can throw it up there. The wall must be in the way. Is that what the deal is? So he's going to have to move. Um, what 
we can do is his special move here. So he'll put down a decoy that hopefully they all attack, and then we can make him invisible. Um, hey, over here! So they should attack the decoy. He's invisible, and um, if he moves again, he'll pick up a. Uh, an evade stack. Alright. Now Eddie can't target any of them at this point. I'm gonna have to move him. If he comes up here, I think he'll have shots at all of them. Oh, that's her! Dang it! That is not what I wanted to do. I thought I was still on him. We'll have to put an evade stack on her since I misplayed. That was a misplay on my part. Ah, uh, he cannot get to where I want him. They should not shoot at him, though. They should shoot at the, um... Decoy? Let's get him over here. At least this is full cover. Light him up allows him to target three. One... Two, that's a 60, that's an 85. We'll take the 85er. Oh, four. He can, he can, he can target four. Wanna dance? Nice. I want them to attack the decoy, otherwise we're in big trouble here. That flushed them. They're not shooting at anything. That's interesting. Wow. Okay, who has the fireball? How many can we light on fire here? We can light these two on fire. Hmm. I don't like that much. Um. If he moves activate running shot and that'll give him an extra boost. Um, so I'm going to move him. Pick up the evade which will uh, do 50% more damage with the running shot. He has 95 on that one, 100 on this one. He's, this guy's close to us. But I think he'll attack the decoy. Wow. That worked really well. Now I can move him again and he'll pick up another evade. So we'll do that. Now Eddie. How many choices do we have? That's his special move. Dang it. It goes in a cone. So we'll do his double shot. So 95 there, 85, and 80, and 75. Oh, wow. Uh, we might need to get him out of here. Um, you can blind a couple of them. That marks them. Ah, man, this is really, really risky. Eighty-five, eighty-five, ninety, and ninety. It's easy when you know what you're doing. All in the wrist. You really want to impress me? Do that again. Her sweep attack. Oh, she can't get down there. She's up top. Um, crap, so she has to move. Crap, um...
she can't get off of this? She has to go all the way over here to the stairs? You're joking. She has to go all the way to the stairs to get down? What the? Oh, man. Uh, can she get this far? No. All she can do is get to here. I've got to get her all the way to there to get her down. And her stairs on this side. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, a little mistake on my part. Um, well, let's get her to the stairs so she can get down and do something on the next turn. Hopefully they attack the decoy. They do. They get rid of me that easily. Yep. Going after the decoy. Perfect. Now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Sweet. Uh-oh. Is that Eddie? Ouch! Y'all may want to start running. Man, I, I, I putting her up there was a, uh, a mistake. I didn't realize she wouldn't be able to get down. Okay, they're pretty busted up. Distract will make everybody shoot at him. That might be the way to go here. I don't know. Um, how much damage can he do? He only ha oh man, he's got to reload though. He only has one bullet. Reload him. Um, when you do enough damage to these guys that she can finish them, and he does not really have a good shot at any of them. So we're gonna do distract, which will blind them and make at least two of them attack him. Hey, Lunkhead, I'm right here. Okay. Gotta get her down here to where, and, and to where she can do something. Uh, stick and move. Lines it. Can she kill one? She cannot, so it has to be stick and move. And we want to blind this guy. She's linked. And now she can move. Uh, is there one she can kill? I think she cannot kill this guy. So those three are blinded. Those guys are provoked. Let's get her in full cover. Lose him. Wow. Hey, hey, grenade! He's in mortal danger. An agent has dropped to zero health and is now in mortal danger. Agents in mortal danger can't fight or even move. A teammate has to stabilize them within three rounds or they will be lost. Okay? Leave you behind. And we unlock an achievement. Yet. Let's get them in the ground. Not a good achievement to be unlocking, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Um, let's let him um, light him up.
Come on out now! And then they're all flushed. Let's see if she can finish this. I regret that it came to this. Show them what for. And clean up. The mess I got us into. Uh oh, she can't kill that one. Um, she only has one AP left. Um, crap. Can she knock it down? Well, she can knock. She can knock this guy down, and he won't be able to do anything. You picked the wrong fight. Ouch. That guy's blinded, he has to reload. The guy that got knocked down can't do anything. Our dance is done. Oh, now she can climb. You couldn't keep up. All right, we cleared the area, but boy, that did not go so great. That did not go so great at all, man. I gotta tell you. Lure, a kill list. Vanish court. All right, so they've got a kill list. Interesting. Let's pick up some loot here. Let's get, um, who has the bandages? Uh, she does. She'll drop those. We'll let Eddie pick those up. Yeah, I can use this. And pick them up. And use them. Stop the bleeding. Yeah. Good to go. Stop the bleeding. See what other loot we have. We have more bandages. He can pick anybody else wounded. She is. Let her pick what those up. What do we have up. here? That will do. Heal her up. Any other loot? We need supplies. We need intel. We need all kinds of goodies. Okay, that's the thing we're supposed to destroy. All those guys were guarding this. What do you think this generator does? Dunno. But it looks like it's leaking. Scram. Come on, come on. Well, we didn't get a chance to get over here and do it right, did we? Eddie can open it. On the move. Man. I see now, if I'd have been more, um, patient. This ought to come in handy. How we could have done this a whole lot easier by doing it up here. She can break the brick wall down. So if we didn't have somebody should be of interest There's to the luck. intel. There's intel. Bandages. If we didn't, um, screw that up, we could have done the fight up here and taken advantage of things that blow up. To eliminate more of the bad guys so by activating that the way we did the way I did a firebomb um, he has one he has the flash grenade do we want the firebomb or the bandages um, let's drop the bandages and pick up the firebomb go offensive instead of defensive um, What's this over here? Pick up 
A souvenir. More supplies. Now see what, what screwed us up, besides me, me not realizing that so many, all those guys would come at us from way over there, I thought we would just be dealing with these guys up here, is that she got stuck up here and, and she couldn't hop down to help out. And that really hurt, man. That really hurt. Um, I'm just looking for loot right now. I don't want to leave anything behind. And what's the last phase of this? We're going to have to... We blew up the thing, so now all we have to do... The generator. So I think all we have to do is um, more lure. Uh, Trace Martola on fame, fortune, and fashion of the future. You guys can read that on your own. Those are the bandages I dropped. There's something over here. What is this? Yeah, see, we could have used these. These are things that we could have blown up. But yeah, we needed to get those guys in a compromising position instead of ourselves in a compromising position. So the escape is that way to the right. But I'm sure they're not going to let us just walk out of here. Did we already go through here? Whoops. Whoops. Fanatics willing to die for the banished court and its magisters. Acolyte ceremonial daggers are razor sharp, and their dedication to the court is absolute. All right, we've already met them. Time to earn our bread. And I just walked into another mess. I'm such an idiot. I tell you what. Isn't that a lovely sight? He's dazed. She can finish it. Even easier than falling in love. Even easier than falling in love, she says. Now all these guys can come after us, but they are melee, so they've got a ways to go to get to us. Um, it says there's only two of them left. Five. Not real good odds. So I'm just gonna move him again. He'll pick up uh, two two evades. Now she can hop over things. She couldn't before, I don't get it. She couldn't hop off of that shelf. Overwatch worked really well, I like it. Don't come cheap, by the way. Eat your heart out. <laughs> I think this is going well, honestly. Area cleared, so that should do it for the mission. Um, we just need to pick up some loot. I think there's going to be loot in there. Can we get in there? Smoke bomb, bandages, does somebody have an open slot? No. More bandages. Let me hold on to this. Some supplies. They knew I was gonna uh, screw up and, and people were gonna need to heal. They prepared for me. I'll get better, man. I'm gonna get better. More lure, we need to have a serious talk about resource allocation. If Lady Anne is going to keep burning through troops for her hocus-pocus horseplay, gee whiz, look at us, you're out, 
<laughs> you're out of unit doing cleanup in Marseille, and I'm out of squad doing maintenance on the cross. Okay, fine. Um, anything over here? gonna be our car. Ace is wild. So we got cars. Are we not done? Can we not just go home? No, we can't. We are not done. Um got a couple of dudes there. Um themselves. A bunch of chickens with their heads cut off. Here, come and check this out. Easy as pie. I should kill one of them. Here, let's do that again. Get him a little closer. Check it out. I should kill you know this you guy. Are. If he goes and checks it out. He did. Damn, I'm good. Let's make tracks. Now we can get out of here. Iron key. Why do I need an iron key? Why do I need an iron key if we're about to exit? I need a flashlight is what I need so I can see. Why do I need an iron key if we're about to leave? Is there something I didn't do? Everything. I think that iron key maybe was for opening this up, but uh, we have a lock pick, so we didn't need it. I don't know, guys. But we're learning the game, and I got Eddie uh, almost killed. I mean, yeah. I think that's it. I think that's we got that. everything. Marcho's generator is scrap. Now let's get out of here. I guess Jeez. this sets back the banished court's plans for the tower. Whatever they are. Ask Locke if you're so curious. Me? I'd rather get rich than get wise. All right, so we picked up our intel, supplies, and six more skill points. Marteau's generator is in pieces, and my three new agents are on their way back to the island. They proved they can infiltrate a court outposts and sabotage infrastructure key to the Zion's plan tower. Yeah, we proved we could do that, but we were pretty sloppy about it. We'll get better. We'll get better. You see what I, I can see what I should have done on that. I the patience for one thing. I attacked too soon, kicked everything off a little early. Six skill points. And their health has all gone up a little bit. Card reveal. What did we get? The Undrawn Hand reveals a new fate. After every mission, the Unknown Hand etches the agent's experiences onto its once blank cards. So does that mean uh, uh, that the cards could change depending on 
how we perform or how we use these guys? Does that have an impact on what the cards do? Place these cards onto the age. Okay. Stack cards of the same type on the tableau slot to increase their effectiveness. Discard cards to receive ink, which can also be used to bolster the hand. Okay. Okay. Continue. So the hermit does what? Healing ability. Healing a target teammate for 40 HP one use per mission. Okay, can we look at the other one? The Revelation. Debuff ability. Inflict blinded on all enemies in an area. Okay, a 3-3 three, three range area. Um, now he's got things that do blinded. So does she. However, um, <laughs> uh, he does not have evade. He'll talk. Well, this so whoever carries this can use it on any of them. Since he doesn't have evade, let's give this to him, and then you got to measure a man by the folks around him. And the revelation will inflict blinded. Um, why can't I give it to her? Oh, there we go. I'm thinking I want to give it to her um, for times when she's too far back to do a melee attack. She can cast that thing out there. I that hasn't caught me yet. But he is a persistent suitor. Okay, and and then Latif doesn't get one. We now have 140 supplies. It's done, Mr. Luck. Mr. Marteau's generator is a smoldering wreck. No sign of Marteau himself, though. A shame. I was hoping to get a look at the great American industrialist. Be glad he wasn't there. Marto Industries makes a ton of stuff, but it's their weapons division that keeps the lights on. And I hear old Trace personally field tests his prototypes. But your sabotage set back his operations. My informants have confirmed it. Yeah, that'll keep him out of the tower. Though I'm still unclear on the how. I don't think you'd believe me if I told you. Try us, why don't you? At the top of the tower, at its crown, sits an energy source. Greater than anything else on Earth. If any of the three court scions got their hands on it, there'd be nothing they couldn't do. This power is both dangerous and unstable, and taking control of it requires preparation. My informants are tracking the court's progress and they grow closer by the day. So are you wanting to control all that power, Mr. Locke? That is why your sabotage missions are so critical. They buy us the time we need to reach the tower before the court can complete their preparations and set their plans in motion. But we can't hold off the court and find the tower at the same time. I need more agents. Who and where, Mr. Locke? There are two each in different Aha. parts of the world. One is a combat medic, Anna Sophia Rodriguez. The other, an assassin, who goes by Celestine. Both are on the court's bad side. Specifically, the court's third leader, Wolfram Strum. So we'll be able to add another character. Um, which one? Anna Sophia is a medic. We want Celestine. Um, I, in the early phase of the game, I want offense, and Celestine is an assassin, so we'll go after her. It's taken me months of searching to find them, and now, with Strum bearing down, we only have time to rendezvous with one of them. I thought so. Not both. Fortunately, extracting one agent should buy the other enough time to slip Strum's notice until we can find her again. So we'll have another shot at the medic. 
that's very similar to XCOM. That's why I thought that they usually give you three options, and you can't do all three, uh, so you have to choose wisely. And they, so they're doing the same thing. The details with... of both women's whereabouts are here on the map. Let's get to work. In conversation. So we pick up one Intel 75 supply, six skill points, which we might want to save for the new recruit because now we have a total of seven and I'm going to end the episode there still sloppy man still sloppy man what I learned is patience if I had been more patient I was thinking you know I could just take those three guys out and it wouldn't alert the rest of them and we could you know get in position and make a strategy for the rest of them I did not realize that all those other ones what were there, there were like six of them that I thought they were too far away. I, I didn't realize they would come in, and that's what caused all the sloppiness. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'm learning. I'm learning. Uh, we'll get better. Uh, uh, subscribe and hit the bell so you get notification of, of every time I post, and I should be posting something every day. Uh, and we'll get ready for our, uh, our second mission here where we get to pick up a new... Soledad, a new soldier. See you then. Take care of yourselves.